Welcome back to my channel, Classic Volkswagen Lover. This is Junior with Classic BW Buck and Sonny the Super Beetle Full Restoration. Um, today I am going to share with you some tips about the uh, cylinder head 8mm stock studs on your engine. Um, if you intend to reuse yours like I did with mine, then I have a few tips for you that you should consider. Uh, one of those uh, tips is make sure that these treads right here, they're all good, they're not cross threaded. And that, um, it's on both ends. The next step that I have uh, for you to consider or tip is make sure that the surface of the stem in between the treads it's rust free and also smooth. Um, again, it doesn't have to be sparkling shiny, just clean and smooth, right? Then the third uh, tip that I have for you is make sure that they are not overly warm because if they are, you will also have a headache when you try to slide your jocks over these uh, stems. So, by reusing your studs, you can save a buck here and there, right? Uh, I think that if you're going to buy a new set of these, they can be in the ballpark of maybe $50 to $70 depending on which one you buy. Um, I think that the least I've seen them before is like around $52 including washers and nuts I think at jbox.com. Uh, uh, so in my case, I, I reused mine because mine were fine. So all I did was a, a little bit of a TLC on them. So how I accomplished that was by using a old drill that I've owned for so many years, over 20 years, with a wire brush wheel installed in the chuck and then running the drill uh, and um, taking every one of these here and cleaning all of these ends one by one 16 times times two because you got one end, two ends, and so uh, you have to repeat the process quite a bit. But you know what? If you want to save a buck here and there, it's worth it. So keep that in mind. The other thing I want to mention is that um, notice how they are all evenly installed in a uniform pattern. So this two right here are smaller than the two here on the side and so are the ones in the back they are taller than the ones in the front so what I'm trying to tell you is that they go installed in that fashion right um, so and the way that I accomplished a proper lens and measurement was by using the same lens of the treads as a guide uh, to tread them into the block I also used uh, some anti -seize on the ends that I connect it to the block. That's not necessary, but if you want, you can do that. So how I accomplished what you see here, it was, again, like I mentioned, by use of that drill right there. The drill, it's uh, clamped on the vise. It's pretty secure. And then I put this, uh, wire brush wheel here and I ran the drill uh, we're, we're, we're gonna go from something that looks this filthy and dirty to something that looks a little bit more nicer you know uh, it's not gonna be sparkling shine and my intent is not actually to do that but just to clean it so that I can provide a, uh, a, a smooth surface uh, to the stem of the uh, cylinder head so that when I install my jugs they slide in easy while this is running, you spin it on that wheel brush to clean the treads. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Then after you do that, you can take the whole stem and just slide it up and down, very careful, up and down, until you get it to look uh, more towards a very smooth you know, surface, which will make it easier for you to slide your cylinder jocks when you're installing your cylinder heads. Uh, that's one quick tip. You have to do that. Um, that's how I accomplished that. Uh, a thing to mention here, make sure that if you do that, uh, you wear safety glasses and you wear gloves. And always make sure that that's sturdy and safe. 
those are some of the quick uh, tips that I have for you if you intend to do that. Uh, next, you'll see me working on installing the generator stand and also the crankshaft pulley, which I believe I'm going to put next. Then, after I get my heads clean, um, I'll go ahead and install those and how much better it's to work with something that it's a surface uh, that's clean and it's neat and that is rust free. Uh, that is uh, all for today. Um, if you like the contents of my videos, uh, share it with a friend. Uh, give me a thumbs up and like my videos and you know, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to you know put out a question for me out there. I'm trying to share you know some some of the things that I love with you guys. But sometimes you run into situations where, if you had probably planned for or thought about it, probably you could avoid uh, running into some of those situations. So what I'm trying to let you know by sharing my videos with you is make sure that when you're doing your job, you're accounting for the do's and don'ts, the things that will uh, give you a better way of doing things or the things that may give you some hiccups. It will make your life so much easier if you do that. That's all for now. This is Junior with Classic VW Bucks. Until then, Junior out.